have just arrived in Krakow, 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 like I don't even know, me and Mitchell were trying to work out earlier what the right way to say it is. I feel like if you're Polish it's, is it Krakow? If you're English, you either say Krakow, Krakow. But anyway, we are in Poland. Um, so I actually booked this trip for Mitchell's birthday, little birthday present, because I always find it hard with what to get someone for the birthday. And I just think it's nice to make memories um, and do something like that instead. So yeah, anyway, so many of you recommended Poland, Krakow, Krakow. <laughs> I'm never going to get that right when I say it now. Uh, to come so yeah somewhere that I've never been somewhere that Mitchell's never been so we thought we'd come so many of you in particular said that it's really really cheap um and that's one reason you love it as a city break as well so yeah we will see what it's like um but we've not long arrived we got here at about half 11 then went um and had a little mooch around the main square center bit just because the room wasn't ready until like one ish so i've been absolutely vacant because it's been about 26 27 why well, don't you actually know what the temperature is but it's blooming warm and i am stuck in a big thick tracksuit so yeah we just went for a little bit of food so pretty already and then scro scrolled scrolled back here uh, and yeah we're now in our rooms we're just gonna chill for a bit we had such an early start this morning at Birmingham we were up at was it 2 30 we got up babe quarter past two, isn't it? quarter past two so it's been an early start I am knackered we hardly had any sleep um, so yeah, we're just going to chill in the room, I think, for a bit. And then tonight, we have booked a Chinese restaurant, I believe. Yes. Um, Mitchell is just like one of these people that, when we come away, every restaurant is booked. Like, pre in advance. Um, to be fair, it's a good idea. I always think when you come to a city, you know, especially at a weekend, everywhere is booked if it's popular. So yeah, it's always a good idea. But anyway, let me show you a quick room tour. I'm really sorry, this camera is awful. I am going to probably get my Canon back for vlogging and keep the Sony just for sit down videos just because the lighting setting is just awful. Like I've had to stand right next to the window just to get some light. Um, but yeah, we're staying at a place called M29. You will see that the lighting and quality goes really rubbish now. Let me just try another setting, guys. I don't know if that setting's better, um, but yeah, anyway, this is the room, so I paid a little more for a deluxe room, it's not like that big, um, but there's the bed, the window there, yeah, I think that's better lighting, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a little seat here, um, TV, I think they've left us some water, so I don't even have a look over there yet, but the main, the main selling point for me was the bathroom, guys, how unreal is this bathroom, so it's all like marble bathroom, really nice mirror it's just so modern um and you guys will know how much i love a bath so i got the room with a freestanding bath but we've just realized there's no shower and mitchell is a shower guy so here is where we have our issues don't we what are you gonna do big issues <laughs> mitchell was like where's the shower i was like oh there's a shower attached to it so you could just stand there and have a shower and um, yeah anyway this bathroom is so nice i can't wait to have a bath later um but yeah anyway that's the room short and sweet we're now just gonna chill out and then i will catch up with you later bye honestly look at that quality on my phone i know but that's the camera's supposed to be really good anyway guys i am switching to my phone probably for the duration of this holiday now because um yeah, my camera's just playing me. It's really annoying me. Um, but I'm ready. So just thought I'd quickly share and show you my outfit. Um, it's actually from the new Molly May collection. So it's just a little dress from PLT. And then just a brown blazer to go on top. Um, as you guys know, I always like to dress up when I'm away. Um, so I'm just going to put a little pair of heels on, I think. Not a bit too heely. Because obviously there's walking to do. It's actually not much walking, is there? I think we're seeing yeah, quite local. Local local um so yeah anyway first outfit put on like properly with my new blonde hair what do you think hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's okay so we are just at a shop bar which is literally next door to where we are staying i'll check the drinks for you so we just paid i'll show you the round that we had we just paid in english five pound fifty you wouldn't even get a cocktail for that price would you from beer in the heat Drinks. Come to the shop setting. If yeah, two drinks is five pound fifty. Yeah, you've got a shot here, then. which is six at so like one pound twenty five. That's so cheap. There's loads of shots. All the shots. All them shots. I'm not really a shot person, you. Yeah. Maybe later. <laughs> Sorry, 
already eaten some of her rice because it came out of that. Oh, it's crispy as shit as well. <laughs> nice. Cool. Good? Wow. Good morning guys, so I just thought I'd quickly jump on the camera because I feel like I'm not going to be vlogging a lot today. Um, so it's actually our first proper day, it's Friday, had a very good sleep didn't we last yeah. night? Like we literally was KO'd because we was up at 2, we only had 4 hours sleep the night before then it was just a very busy day yesterday so yeah the sleep was needed. Um, but we're actually off to Auschwitz today, I think that's how you say it, please just excuse the pronunciation and um, we actually booked it before we came here I'm pretty sure you can book at like your hotels and there's other places to book but we just thought we'd be organized and book so yeah we booked that uh, with I'll leave the details below actually just in case anyone's interested who we booked with um, and I got an email from them last night just to say that they'll be picking us up at 10 past so it's 5 past 8 at the moment I feel like it's a whole day thing and I think there's two camps that you go and look around as well not too sure but we've gone for like the guided tour option I just think it'll be you know, interesting just to go around with the tour guide and just just learn a little bit more about it because um, you don't really know a lot do you? I know you? nothing. No. So yeah that's where we're heading because obviously everyone recommended to do this trip and just yeah go and see what happened and like I say learn a little bit more. POA tonight? Italiani. Oh we booked Italian tonight. See Mitchell has the full itinerary with the food. You saw the food haven't you? Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure what time I get back. Chinese last night was unbelievable. Oh yeah, update them. Dumb sim, 10 yeah. out of 10. Okay, I'll leave all the restaurants as well that we stayed in. We're in the Jewish quarter. Stayed. Stayed. Oh sorry, I, I can't speak, it's too early, as you can probably tell. I've not had a cup of tea yet, I've not had anything to eat, I just feel a little bit weird. But yeah, I'll leave a list of all the restaurants we go to as well. Because like I said, Mitchell's a little bit... They're popular as well, like, I got them all <laughs> off TikTok. So. Oh did you? Yeah. Yeah, Mitchell's obviously researched into all the restaurants and I must say, last night it was a good 8.5, 9 out of 10, weren't it? Mm. It was really good. You had your doubts as we, well. And we tried, what was it that we tried that we never had? It's like dumpling things. Dumpling, sim, wasn't it? Oh, they were so good, so, port, so good. Port dumplings, something. Really good, really rated it. So, yeah. Ciao, Ciao for now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're back from our Auschwitz trip now. So just to let you know, just in case you're interested in coming, we got picked up at 10 past eight. Um, so through like the guided tour thing that we arranged online, you get picked up, taken to obviously Auschwitz, which was about an hour and 20, isn't it? Mm. In the car, quite long to be fair. 60 kilometers. Um, and then yeah, our tour didn't start until like 10, half 10, did it? No. Uh, then anyway, we did two tours, one of one camp, one of the other, and then yeah back in the car and we are now home so it's like half three so it doesn't actually write off all your day I think we thought that like a whole day was going to be wrote off because we didn't book dinner till eight did we um, but yeah now we are a little peckish so one of you actually dm'd me and says to try a zappy a zappy oh, how would you say that oh, I need to like google thing here a zappy, zappy a um it basically looks like some kind of pizza so yeah, there's all like little food stuff. We're in the Jewish quarter, I think I already mentioned that, that's where we stay in. Um, and yeah, it's like a little market around here and it has all like food, so it looks really nice. Before we try one. What have you gone for? Pepperoni, onion, something. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. I didn't really know what to go for. You went I felt for mountain cheese. I was really on the spot, so I went for melting mel melting cheese. Why does this look really bright? Let me just turn the bright sign, guys. Oh, that's better. Well, so, Anyway, I went for mountain Ooh, cheese, yeah. bacon and cranberry. Really random. Bloody daylight. I didn't really know what I fancied and there was quite a lot of choice. So anyway, we shall see what they're like, test them out. And then POA after, we're going back to the hotel, shop we're going bar. for a drink here. We're like, going what? for a shop bar. We're going to go that. shop bar again. <laughs> they're dangerous, aren't they? Some of these little piece things look so nice. I feel like I've ordered something wrong, but oh well. You live and learn. Mountain cheese. Mountain, I love the sound of mountain cheese, I don't know what it was, I just love cheese. You get it from the top of the mountains. <laughs> okay, so I've just got mine. These are bacon. So I've got bacon, cheese, cranberry. Oh, they're huge. Like you said, they could do be enough. Oh, we should have shared them really, I should have that. Anyway, I'm going to do taste test. Well, I feel like I need to let it cool down first. Mmm. <laughs> oh, God, it's hot. Mm. 
Oh, so is there mushrooms underneath it? Yeah, they come with every single one of those mushrooms. It's so hot. I think I've burnt my lip. So I didn't actually vlog after this guys, I completely just forgot, but by the way, the pizzas were unreal, I'm ready to report back, you definitely could have had half each. We then just went back, got ready, and took a trip to the famous shop bar, which is next door to our hotel, so unreal, so cheap, we tried just some shots that we asked the guy to make for us, um, and they were so good, my favourite kind of shots, the sweet ones and not strong. Um, we then had our usual mojito in here, which honestly was about £3.50, so so cheap. Mitchell had a beer, which again was about £152. We then took a walk into the centre area because we had a reservation at an Italian. We stopped for a little drink on the way in this really cute square. It was like a pub more than a bar um, but it was really nice and again real cheap drinks then to Mamma Mia honestly guys you need to come to this Italian if you come to Krakow it was 10 out of 10 so for starter I had burrata which honestly best burrata I've ever had and then same again with the risotto Mitchell had lasagna such good food good morning everyone so it is day three in Krakow um it's raining today which we kind of knew didn't we like yeah. it did say it on the forecast we were hoping that it might change like it normally sometimes does doesn't it forecasts aren't always accurate it's weird though because it's not like cold cold um, but the temperature's definitely dropped today, hasn't it? Yesterday yeah, it was 23, 24, and I think today it's showing us like 16. So, it's tracksuit day. Um, we've managed to grab an umbrella from the hotel as well. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? Mm, it's a good one. Um, so yeah, anyway, today we're just gonna mooch explore. It's a bit rubbish when it's raining. I've always said this about city breaks. Like, I feel because city breaks do involve a lot of walking and exploring, it's so Which nice. Way, 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 down here. Yeah, it's so nice when it's obviously dry weather um, and sun, sun preferably. Because I just think, I don't know, I just personally find it a lot more enjoyable, but it is what it is. We're not going to let it put a dampener. <laughs> on on. <laughs> a dampener on our day. We've just been for breakfast. Mitchell spotted it yesterday when we were just like strolling literally around the corner from our hotel some really nice food places in everywhere um, so Krakow. Good. yeah like honestly everywhere we've eaten so far i've got to say i feel like out of everywhere i've been in europe mm. i feel like it could be up there yeah like obviously we've still got a couple of days so i'll report back but every single meal we've had so far me and mitchell have been scoring it like nine out of ten and that, that is like Strong. we are big food critics aren't we yeah. so yeah so impressed with the food but as i was saying breakfast this morning was up there again wasn't it yeah it's good we had ex mitchell had ex benedict i had ex what's it called the one i have it's eggs royale. Some, yeah eggs royale and it was so different like the bread they use they put like chopped tomatoes on it as well like it was so different but nice so, Big yeah. portion as well. Huge portion, I'm stuffed. Um, but yeah, anyway, just gonna have a mooch. I think we're gonna go to the castle today, aren't we? Yeah, get a Starbucks. I feel like there's so much to do in Krakow, like, it's huge. Mm. Like when we was in the um, car yesterday, just picking people up for the excursion, I was like, oh my God, like, it's it massive, just seems to never end. So, yeah, anyway, we're enjoying ourselves, having a good time. Um, Best time. <laughs> um, I'll report back later because my arm is aching now. Bye. Ciao for now. <laughs> So we're just in the main square again now. We haven't actually looked that much around here. And um, obviously the first day we came, it was just like we were trying to kill a couple of hours before our room was ready in the hotel. But it's so nice. We found a little Starbucks because like, what do you do when it's raining? Go and get a Starbucks. And then I feel like the rain is stopping a bit. So we might be able to mooch around a little bit more in a bit. No, it isn't too bad actually, but we need some coffee. We need a coffee fix first. Coffee. Even though I don't have caffeine. <laughs> Okay, excuse the lighting, um, but we have just arrived at Galleria Krakowska, I'm going to say. Um, a few of you told me that there's a really good shopping centre to go to, especially when it's like raining and wet. So I thought I'd come and check it out, see what the prices are like. I think they've got a Zara too, so nothing like a little bit of shopping on a rainy day. I feel so full. Yeah. Do you know like when you're trying to talk and like you're really full? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm laughing. Anyway, let me show you the outside a bit. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snow 
snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Guys, I am literally in my element in these home shops like, I can't even tell you how real they are for Halloween There is so much cute stuff I swear our home shops are not like this Like, yeah, we have home scents but, oh my god, it's so freaking cute. I've vlogged loads, so um, I'll just put little clips in. Let me just show you a little overview of it all. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. Hold my hand and hear the words I say. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Just thought I'd quickly pick the camera back up. Um, don't actually know when I last vlogged. I think maybe I vlogged when we went to the shopping centre, which, by the way, was absolutely unreal. Definitely one of the biggest shopping centres I've ever been to. It was just, it was massive, wasn't it? Yeah. And there was just so many, like, home shops, clothing shops, beauty, everything you could think of was there, and so much food as well. So we really enjoyed, well, I really enjoyed it. I would have probably enjoyed it more if Mitchell wasn't moaning. But <laughs> you guys will probably relate men well, my man doesn't like shopping. Yeah, you the oh, so don't stand here, Mitchell. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we were standing on somewhere that we shouldn't have been standing, so we just got told off. Um, didn't even see that sign. Yeah, so anyway, went to the shopping centre, Unreal. Highly recommend if you just want to do a little bit of shopping. We kind of went there just because it was chucking it down this morning. Um, but it's actually cleared up now. So, I know, but when I walk, the camera stability on this is so awful. Um, anyway, I've got low battery, it's flashing, so I'm going to have to make this quick, but we're just at the castle, I have just took a few little shots on my phone, so I will show you shortly, <laughs> um, but it's just so nice, like, honestly, everywhere you go, it's just so picturesque, so much to see, so much to do, I think we're going to go ahead and get some lunch now, aren't we? Lunch. 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 Oh, spot of lunch. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, we've been quite full, haven't we, because that yeah. blooming breakfast is massive. And then we had a Starbucks, I think that was, I don't know, I just felt so full up. But Mitchell says his belly's rumbling now. Is it? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, ciao, 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 ciao. Evening guys, just thought I would check in because so I feel like it's been a minute. I feel like this vlog has been a little bit all over the place today. Um, but yeah, basically, it has been a little bit of a miserable, weird day weather wise today. So we woke up and it was just like, Jeremy, it's just dark, grey, rainy. I was like, oh, here we go. So little old me, tracksuit on, you know, I'm ready for like cold weather. Um, but weirdly enough, it actually got a lot warmer about 12, 1 o'clock and we had a bit of sunshine still. So it didn't end up actually being as much of a washout as we thought it was going to be today. So it's been all right. So yeah, we just got up had some breakfast then went to the big shopping mall which is absolutely unreal honestly it's like shopping heaven there's so many shops i've never known so many shops have you mitchell it was huge wasn't it um, so yeah, we went there and had a little mooch whilst it was raining and stuff. Always a good idea shopping. Um, and then, like I say, as we was kind of leaving there, it was kind of brightening up a bit. We had to, we could put the umbrella down. Um, and then, what did we do after that? I'm trying to think what we've done. Oh, we went to the castle, didn't we? Yeah. Did we do that straight after? I'm literally lost. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. So yeah, we just went and had a little explore, a little mood, then went to the castle, which was really pretty. I mean, everywhere's just so nice. Honestly, you could just walk around everywhere um, and just see new things. Every street you turn, I feel like it's a bit different. So yeah, it's been really fun. Um, we did make our first slip up of the holiday with food, didn't we, Mitchell? Yeah. Uh, so basically, it then started chucking it back down again. It was like, oh, I forgot to say, it's like, we're so hungry, like we wanna go and find somewhere. Now, normally, with lunch, we don't kind of plan our lunches, but we always get TripAdvisor up Google reviews and make sure that we're going in a place that's got good reviews. But because it was absolutely hammering it down, we ended up just like running into the nearest place, didn't even check the reviews, it was like, yeah, we're just hungry, like I'm sure it'll be fine. And then when I sat in the restaurant, I started reading the reviews and they were so bad. They were literally like, worst food ever, like just really bad reviews. And we, in this place, funny enough, we thought we'd order the dumplings to try, um, which are like Polish cuisine. And yeah, probably the worst ever place you could order them. And first bad, first bad impressions, 
not wait what am i trying to say babe like first impressions of dumplings when we've never tried them at a bad place was not good was it, it was they were awful i'm sure they are really nice like, they look yummy but yeah we just didn't have a good experience so huh I <laughs> yeah so we literally didn't eat well like, i ate a lot and honestly wanted to spit it out it was that vile um so then after we was that fed up was like let's just go maccas good old maccas can never go wrong same in most countries i say it's the same they always have different things on the menu so it's not but do you know what i mean like you feel like you can never go wrong so yeah so we ended up just having the maccas walked back chilled i feel like honestly these city breaks just take it out of you walking all day how many steps did you say we did babe not today yeah let's find the step on it around 17,000 <laughs> 17, so yeah by the time we got back to the room I was like oh, I need a nap so I've had an afternoon nap had a bath freshened up feeling good put my outfit on I'm wearing cargoes this evening so just these cargoes from PLT top from PLT probably just wear my little flat heels maybe a blazer I'm gonna see how chilly it is is it cold oh my god the lighting's so much better out here see what I mean with this camera oh my god it's blue skies now as well let me show you outside I don't know if you can see the blue skies, but there's blue skies now. It's supposed to be raining all afternoon, like this is what I mean with weather. You can just never go by yet. Anyway, I'm going to shut up because I feel like we need to go and get ourselves. Are we going for a drink or are we going for food first? You should stop talking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to go. Bye. Good evening, guys. I'm on my phone again because honestly, this camera, I'm about ready to chuck it in the bin. It is a piece of crap. I hate it. I hate it. I feel like there's something wrong with it. When I went around Hazel the other day, um, we was like comparing our cameras on the same settings. And for some reason, mine was like so much darker. I mean, her still wasn't the best. Like this camera is so rubbish with low lighting. I mean, there's a big light on right now, but still it goes really dark and grainy. I don't know. I'm going to definitely revert back to the Canon, I think. This is great for sit downs, but rubbish for vlogging. So do not recommend um but anyway we are back it is what is the time babe half nine half nine very late not um i'm knackered honestly i'm so tired i'm just ready for bed cup of tea maybe and bed so this evening i didn't really vlog a lot it was awful. yeah it was just like the weather was really bad it kind of put a dampener on the e dampener <laughs> i said that the other day didn't i um yeah, the weather was just so bad. So we took a little walk to the Indian. And as I was walking, Mitchell decided he's not hungry. He was like, I'm not hungry. I was like, right, okay, what are we going to do? So he was like, right, we'll walk to the Indian, see if they can move our table back to like eight. And then we'll go and find somewhere like to have a couple of drinks. And the only issue was where we went to the Indian was quite like, it wasn't right in the centre or like near the square or the main bit. So it was quite out of the way, wasn't it? Yeah. There actually wasn't many places to drink around there other than like hotel bars. And obviously if you drink at the hotel bars, they're a lot more expensive than like your little like vodka bars and things like that. So anyway, after walking around for ages, we ended up finding a, where was it? The Sheraton. Sheraton Hotel. Mm. It's like a sports bar next door. So that was... Yeah, it, it wasn't good, was it? No, it was weird. Wasn't it? it was so weird. Like the atmosphere was just really, really... I don't know, it's just a weird atmosphere in there. So we went in there for one drink and then came out and it was absolutely chucking it down. Mitchell said to me tonight, I was like, do I wear a jacket? No, it's fine, it's so warm. So I didn't wear a jacket, just in a little top, no umbrella, absolutely hammer it down, thunder lightning. So then we had to take cover. And then, um, yeah, basically we just ordered a new bar. <laughs> around the corner 20 second drive 20 second drive and i was like i can't walk it's absolutely hammering it down um we felt yeah. bad on the driver so we tipped him five pounds well, <laughs> yeah we did because honestly they get absolutely nothing in like i mean i guess it's all relative to how much the cost of living is isn't it so mm. even though we think that like a one i don't know i don't really know how it works like is it a lot or do they struggle with the money i don't really know but to it it's like when you look at the price of an uber it's like one pound fifty to go around the corner i'm just like god if you did that in london even if it's around the corner you'd be paying five pounds it wouldn't you mm. so yeah anyway we did that went for the indian um obviously i have left all the restaurants up to mitchell this holiday oh. <laughs> yeah I, I just trusted him but i feel like after tonight i'm gonna start reading the reviews because even though every oh, single place, no, nice no, no, even there. though every single place we have gone to is really good, good reviews on Google. I found out tonight that Mitchell doesn't actually read the reviews. He just looks at the Google review, and if it's like four point five out of five, four point five, it's good. Then we just go. But that's fine. 
but you still have to read the reviews, babe. Because, like, that could just be from a long time ago, and that the last 10 reviews could be really bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? See, it's just something I've got to um, come to terms with now, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, it wasn't bad. Like, I mean, obviously, you come into Poland and having an Indian is probably like, not the thing you'd go out to eat, but we always like eating different cuisines when we come on holiday. Oh, my migration looks so bad in this light here. Can you see, guys? I'll speak to you more about that in a minute because I'm hopefully getting something done about it. I've mentioned before that I can't get my lip filler dissolved, but I might be able to get something done. But this is why I want all my lips dissolved because that looks awful. Anyway, ignoring that. Um, so yeah, we just like try like when we're abroad, we don't just like trying. I don't know, same food every night. We like to go for Chinese, Indian, Thai. Like Italian. then maybe like Italian, a traditional like maybe one night steakhouse. Sushi, like we just like I'm freezing. We just like all different cuisines, so um yeah, maybe Indian wasn't the best option, but it was nice, like it was all right. Mm. It wasn't the best. They brought the wrong dish out as well, didn't they? Yeah, and we was like, what the hell is that? It was like cucumbers and chicken, it was well weird. It was like a sizz like a it's like a sizzler or something, wasn't it? I don't know what it was. But I'm gonna go because I'm tired and I wanna take my makeup off, get in bed, maybe get a cup of tea and um yeah, just feel fresh. Tomorrow we have the salt mines. Salt so, mines and sushi tomorrow. Salt mines and sushi. So it should be a good day. Got to get up at... I don't know. We haven't really got to get up that early because it's ten past... Like, quarter past ten we've got to meet. Half nine. Half nine. So, anyway. I'll report back tomorrow. Ciao. Good morning everyone. So it is our last full day in Krakow today and um, we're actually off to the salt mines. So before we came we booked two trips. Just because we like to be organised you can book them when you get here. Um, but yeah so we kind of spread them out. So the first day when we got here we was like let's have a mooch day. Friday out switch. Saturday mooch day again and then today the salt mines. So what time did you say? Quarter past ten? Yeah, we've got to be there. So we've got to be there at quarter past ten. Um, I think it is a little bit of a journey, so we're just going to no, jump. It's only Twenty-five minutes. Well, yeah, but uh, to walk it'd be an hour, wouldn't it? Oh, oh, longer than that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, it's only twenty-five minutes in a cab, but obviously, if you was walking it, probably be a bit longer for us. So yeah, we're just going to jump in a new because honestly, they are so cheap here. Like it is ridiculous. Um, ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous. Just to go around the corner, like I said last night, it was a pound, one pound something. Even just to do like a 15 minute journey, it's, I don't know, it's like four pound or something, isn't it? Yeah, well we're going, what, 25 minutes? Mm hmm And it's, just bear with me. There we, oh, here we go, all day. Um, but yeah, anyway, taxis are really, really cheap. Six quid. Six pound, so Six cheap. Half hour drive. Yeah, so really, really cheap. So yeah, we're gonna go there, I think at first, so yeah, we're going to go there. I think we're just going to head for... What are we doing now? Just get like a little croissant or something. I don't want anything too big, do you? No, no, no. Like we had breakfast yesterday, which was unreal. But oh my God, it was so filling. We was full up until like half two, three, wasn't we? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to try and find a little croissant spot. I could do with a nice iced, cold, decaf, mm. caramel latte or something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and do that. The day seems... Um... Weather-wise, at the moment, it doesn't seem too bad. It was a pretty similar forecast today as it was yesterday. Um, and it wasn't actually that bad in the end. Like, in the morning, do you know when you push me here, babe, the lighting goes so rubbish with this camera. That's why I was standing there. Okay. Weather-wise today, it doesn't actually seem too bad. It was a pretty similar forecast to yesterday. So yesterday morning, I actually started off chucking it down. Whereas today, it's dry and just kind of cloudy. A little bit cool, like definitely doesn't feel as warm as when we got here, but yeah, hopefully the rain holds off. Do you think we're taking an umbrella or not? Because it does say rain all day, you know. Does it? Mm. Like last night we got caught out because we was like, oh, it's dry. Mitch was like, oh, you don't need a jacket, it's fine. And then obviously the thunderstorm comes, absolutely hammering it down. It was awful. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Let's go and enjoy Krakow day four. <laughs> Okay, so just got to do a quick outfit of the day. So today I'm wearing the cargoes that I wore last night. This is what's really kind of helpful to do if you're going on a city break and you don't have a lot of luggage. So I got these, only obviously wore them for the night and then obviously they're clean to wear today. So I've got these on, little t-shirt, just switched the outfit up, trainers um, and a blazer. And obviously for last night, I just put like a more dressier top on and heels. 
So yeah, that's how to kind of like recycle and get more out of your outfits. Thought I'd put my hat on as well, just in case it does rain. Um, but yeah, that's the outfit of the today. And then we've got Mitchell, who looks like you're going on a hike. <laughs> so before we headed to the salt mines itself uh, we thought we'd just stop off for a little iced coffee and croissant just something nice and light this morning and then we jumped in Uber to the salt mines when you get inside you have to go down obviously loads of steps to the mine so just a heads up there's a lot of steps involved you do actually get a lift back up so you haven't got to climb all the steps on the other way back um and yeah then it's just lots of walking involved so many beautiful things to see and obviously it's just amazing this is all underground like i can't get my head around it it's so so beautiful and um, the tour took about two hours and then it was like the great escape to get out, which honestly, story for another day. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend. And then after the salt mines, we then jumped back in an Uber to the center and stopped off at this place called Velo, which a few of you had recommended me to go. Real cute vibes in there. I'd say it's like cozy casual. We had French onion soup and then Mitchell had a burger. And I just had some tacos because I didn't want to eat too much. Real nice food. I'd probably give it like a 7.5, 8 out of 10. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Good evening guys, so as you can see I look a little bit different from this morning when I was vlogging Speaking of vlogging, I feel like I've been really bad today so apologies for that But if I'm honest, it's just been one of them days where there's not really been a lot to say in vlog um, So as you will have probably saw, we went to the salt mines earlier And that took a majority of our morning up So we went there, we got there for like 10 I think we went in at about quarter past to half past 10 And then the tour itself took about a good 2 hours Maybe even more, I'm going to say. Um, so yeah, that took up quite a lot of our morning. And then we literally got out of the salt mines, got straight in Uber to a breakfast spot. Oh, I can't even remember what it was called. If I remember, I will put it on screen. Well, you'll see it in the, in the clips anyway. But yeah, we went to not breakfast. Did I say breakfast spot? I feel like I can't even function. Please, just ignore me. I've got a sore throat and I actually feel a little bit shitty. I don't know if I'm coming down with something or not. Um, I had a headache yesterday as well, like I don't even know what's going on with me, maybe it's this cold weather, um, but yeah, we went for some lunch, it was actually really nice, it wasn't the best, I'm going to say, but we had like French onion soup and some bread with that, that was really nice, then I just had some tacos, because I didn't want to see anything too much, because it was lunch, Mitchell had a burger, his burger was really nice, so yeah, like it was a nice spot, it's just like a casual, kind of like nice interior decor kind of spot, um, God, my throat feels like it's getting worse and worse, I'm talking. So yeah, we went there and then we didn't really do much after. We just kind of mooched around, had a little walk. I think it started raining again. It's not been the best weather today. And again, I always say this, but when the weather's not that great, it does just put a slight little, like, hinder on your trip because a lot of city breaks are just merely walking around and exploring. So when it's chucking it down with rain and it's cold, it doesn't... I don't know, it's not as great, but we still had a real nice time. Um, and then we got back to the room for like half three, four, I'm gonna say. Had a little nap. I feel like it's just a thing that you have a nap when you <laughs> come on holiday, especially on city breaks, because it's so tiring. And I feel like we've already done nearly like 11,000 steps, haven't we, today? Um, we've been doing like 20,000 most days. So yeah, we thought we'd have a little nap and get ready early doors and go out for a few more drinks last night we kind of only went for like one drink then food then came straight in because we're so tired so Mitch was like let's go out earlier tonight have drinks before and then go for food and we're actually only going for sushi as well tonight so I feel like if I eat sushi or something light I can eat and drink but the issue with me is you can't take me for a meal and then expect me to go to a bar after like I want my bed I'm just not a person that can eat and drink I either drink and that's fine, or I eat. <laughs> or I can drink before and then eat, but I can't do both like after, one after the other. So anyway, head into a really nice sushi place tonight. I feel like it may be a chain. It's, is it a chain, babe? Have we established that? Well, it's called, is it called Sticks? Sticks and sushi? I don't know. I feel like it may be, I don't know. I'll let you know. Um, but basically, it sounds like the sticks and sushi that there is in London, but I could be wrong. It might not be a change, but the menu looks pretty similar too. I've actually never been to the London one and everyone absolutely rave about it. Um, and it looks really nice again, like interior wise and stuff. We absolutely love sushi and I've always wanted to try sticks and sushi in London. So yeah, really excited because we bloody love some sushi. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to ramble. But, oh, I need to fill you in about salt mines as well, like let you know what I thought. What do you think about salt mines? Yeah, it's good. Would you recommend it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> there you go then, that summed it up. It's good. I think it's good. I think it's one of them things, it's like really nice and interesting to go and see. Like, it's obviously so interesting and amazing, like how, 
yeah, just like the history and everything behind it. But it was, I don't know, I felt like it was a little bit long. Like I felt like once I'd seen some of it, I'd kind of seen it all. But that's just me. Um, it's kind of clearing up, isn't it? My throat is killing. I can't speak anymore, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up here. We're going out for dinner. I'm wearing this. I've just put my sh some trainers on. I think they're on the wrong feet as well, just to stand on the balcony. I've shoved my hair up tonight because obviously it's raining. Yeah. Okay, guys, just thought I'd do a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing Mistress Rocks again. This dress is actually quite revealing. Um, I've got, like, underwear on, but I've had to, like, pull it down there. It's so weird. Anyway, it's just, like, a strappy dress cut out there. It's really nice fabric. And I've just chucked my PLT brown blazer on again. Just some real low clear perspex heels. Jacquemus. Jacquemus? Jacquemus? I don't even know how you say it. Um, that's the bag. And then I've also got these earrings in. My mum actually got me these for my 30th. No, did she get them for my 30th? She might have got, I can't even remember. Yeah, I think mum did get me these for my 30th. Honestly, I feel like it's that long ago since April now. I don't even know. But yeah, my mum got me these earrings. They're so cute. I feel like I never get time to wear them because they're more of like an evening earring. But they're so cute. Love them. So I've got those in tonight. And hair up. Look how long it is. Let's go. Okay, back on. So we have a reservation for sushi and sticks, but it's. Did you say it was a 20 minute drive? Yeah, I think this is it here to the left. That's cute. Um, yeah. Anyway, we just thought, you know what? Let's just stay local. Like, if we can find a sushi place, it's like local and walking distance. Let's go there instead. Anyway, this one has really good oh, reviews, gosh, but we couldn't get a reservation online. So we're just going to turn up and see if they've got a reservation. If not, we're going to go to sushi and sticks. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we can actually walk around here. Do you know what? Someone did say to me, you should walk around here because it's mm. so nice. What is that place? Is that it? Or is that some... That's cute in there. Let me show Okay, so this sushi place that we ended up going, guys, was honestly so, so unreal. Again, some of the best sushi I've ever had. Like, I can't recommend it enough. Um, so, yeah, we did have starters. So, we had, like, tempura prawns, and I think they were wings. Oh, they were so, so good. And then we just picked out, like, a few that kind of stood out to us on the sushi menu, which, again, were amazing. Okay, we are now finished our sushi. Obviously, we've had everything. Apparently ginger can just cleanses your palate. So I volunteered Mitchell to try. Nice. It's a compliment everything. Pretty good. That's yeah? Really nice, yeah. You should try some. <laughs> mm. What's the one that is? lovely that is. Nice. Mm. After sushi, we then stumbled across this bar, and we didn't actually realise that volleyball was like such a popular sport in Poland. Um, and there were some finals or something or other going on. So yeah, we sat and watched volleyball, which honestly was so fun. Like we were so into it, and yeah, we had so many amazing cocktails. So we had such a lovely night. morning everyone i feel like i've got to be really quiet because i'm in the hallway um but it's our last day today we're checking out sub times i feel like it's gone really quick oh there's mitchell um yes. so yeah anyway we're just yes. About, hmm? yes we're just about to check out um obviously leave our suitcase here because our flight isn't until what time do we take off is it six Smart, yeah. All day, so basically we've got the majority of the day. So we're just gonna mooch, put this in the reception, mooch around, and then yeah, just enjoy the last few hours of Krakow. Oh, we're gonna find somewhere to go for breakfast now because we are hungry. Hungry boy today, hungry boy. Yeah. <laughs> we just go around the corner, aren't we? Massive. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go for breakfast now. So I'll pick up the vlog when we're at breakfast. So another little breakfast spot. This was called Moja. Moja? I think that's what it's called. Um, I actually went for a bagel, which was delicious. But oh my god, guys, this is so funny. Mitchell thought he ordered an English breakfast. I didn't even look what he'd ordered. Um, he did say he enjoyed it, but it definitely wasn't an English breakfast. Okay, guys. So we had breakfast about an hour ago. Mine was really nice. 
Mitchell's on the other hand, he thought he was ordering oh. an English breakfast. No, not full English, but like, I thought he was going to have... <laughs> better things on it it was all right it was, it, was all right. <laughs> it was so funny it was the most randomest plate of food i've ever seen um <laughs> like there was so many nice things on the menu as well so yeah he, he said he still enjoyed it but yeah i had a bagel it was lovely we're now just exploring the jewish quarters because we've not really explored much around here have we even though we've been staying here so um yeah it's beautiful it's like all cobbled streets just like little cute buildings yeah, i'll show you i'll show you around oh sushi show so anyway guys that brings us to the end of this Krakow vlog I really hope you have enjoyed it and um, by the way definitely have a little mooch around the Jewish Quarter um, it's just really interesting walking around there and again some real nice buildings and just places to see I did end up actually nipping into a Thai restaurant on the way back um, I was actually hungry and I really wanted to try this Pad Thai 10 out of 10 again I'll leave the restaurant um, and yeah anyway thanks for watching I shall see you in the next video bye